Okay, so uh, in this video, I want to talk about K-map simplification for four variables. So uh, K-map simplification for four variables, uh, basically the K-map uh, gonna be bigger than the uh, scenario of the uh, two and three variables. Um, the um, four input fun Boolean function uh, have the K-map uh, represented in the uh, uh, diagram uh, shown below right here. So basically we are uh, assume the uh, two uh, input variables such as WH and YZ. So WH gonna be uh, combined together. So represented by the column right here, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. Um, y is going to be combined together, going to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Okay? So um, basically for four variables, we have the 16 mean terms uh, because 2 power 4 equals to 16. Um, so we have the 16 mean term for four variables. Um, um, uh, based on the uh, value of uh, uh, inputs W, H, and Y, Z, so we have the uh, different mean term going to be uh, put into a different cell. So for example, uh, W, H, and Y, Z uh, with W, not, H, not, Y, not, Z, not going to be for the first cell right here. Uh, w, H, Y, Z corresponding to the all variable equal to 1, so going to be a 1, 1 right here and 1, 1 right here. So this is a W, H, Y, Z. Um, another one, for example, uh, W, H, not, Y, Z, not going to corresponding to 1, 0, uh, 1, 0. Okay, one zero one zero. Okay, and so on. So this one uh, basically the uh, format of sixteen mean term k mass or uh, four input variables. So uh, let's consider a um, specific uh, Boolean function um, with the uh, four input variables w x y z uh, equal to um, the uh, summation of, uh, of the uh, seven mean terms right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? So the first step is that, first of all, we have a um, K-map for six input variables, and then we gonna fill, um, gonna fill in the uh, values of one for each of the mean term uh, in the uh, Boolean function right here, okay? So uh, for example, the first mean term right here gonna be a W0, X0, Y0, Z0, gonna be uh, represented by the uh, values of one, corresponding to the W, uh, uh, I equals 0, 0, and Y, uh, Z equals 0, 0 right here, okay? Because this uh, W not, H not, Y not, Z not. So this one O equals 0 right here. So this the uh, represent the first mean term right here. The second mean term right here corresponding to the W not, H not, Y not, Z, uh, Z, okay? So that's gonna be second mean term right here. W not, X not, Y not, and Z. So that's uh, value 1 corresponding to second mean term right here. The third one right here corresponding to the uh, W not, H not, Y and Z naught, okay? That you not, I not, Y, Z not. So the third mean term right here, the fourth mean term right here, gonna be a, a W not, H, Y, and Z not, okay? The um, next mean term right here, gonna be W, H not, Y not, Z. W, H not, Y not, Z not, right here. The next one gonna be W, H not, Y not, and Z. W, I not, Y not, and Z right here. And the last term right here, W, I not, Y, and Z not. W, I not, Y, and Z not right here. So this is the last mean term. So basically from the Boolean function and also from the um, k map right here, we're gonna fill it uh, in with the values of one for each of the mean term uh, 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 given in the Boolean function. So, uh, once you once you are uh, done with that step, uh, can now now you need to identify the group uh, of one can be combined or group together to simplify the function. So uh, I give you that uh, in this uh, uh, K-map we can have a three group uh, and. Uh, we, we should recall that group can be overlap, okay? So have no problem with that. So I'm gonna give you a, a few seconds or you can pause this video and also think about uh, what kind of a, um, values of one we can group together and uh, to simplify the Boolean function, okay? All right, so I hope everyone have the same um, way we um,
have right here. So basically, we get the two groups. Um, the first one that's a purple group right here that gonna have the two values one group together. Um, the second group got the pink group right here. Um, we gonna have four values of one group together. Uh, that's gonna be uh, grab the top and the bottom of the K map. And the third group that's gonna also have the four values of one uh, at the corner of the uh, K map right here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the three group. Um, so now once you identify the group, we need to represent each group uh, by the uh, corresponding variables in there. So the for the first group right here, um, we can see that the values of W and X gonna be uh, for this one, this one right here. Gonna, the value of w gonna chain uh, this is not chain okay from uh, that's the w equal to zero uh, however the value of x gonna be chained from zero to one so uh, when representing this group the value of x gonna be dropped okay so we have to rule that uh, whenever the value of uh, a variable chain uh, while regrouping uh, that variable gonna be dropped from the uh, representation okay so i gonna be dropped from this one uh, value of y and z gonna be the same one and zero so this group can be represented by w not uh, y and z not okay w not y and z not so that's for representing the uh, purple group right here the second pink group right here we can see that um the um, values of uh, w and x gonna be changed from w gonna change from zero to one right here okay so that you gonna be drop um x gonna be the same uh, zero so i gonna be a x naught um we can see that y uh, have the same value of zero but z gonna change from zero to one so z gonna be dropped so the pink group gonna be uh, represented by x naught and y naught okay x naught and y naught right here the last group gonna be at the um group uh, uh, four corners of the K map, so you can see that uh, from here to here, the values of um, W gonna change from zero to one, so W gonna be drop. Um, I equal to zero, so gonna be I not. Uh, on the other hand, at the uh, Y and Z right here, you can see Y gonna change from zero to one, so Y gonna be drop, and uh, Z gonna be. Uh, equals zero so z gonna be a z naught so um you can see we can see that um the uh, green group right here can be represented by x and naught and z naught okay so that's the uh, term right here so basically the um boolean function uh, at the beginning with the seven term now reduce or simplify to a three uh, much simpler term uh, x naught y naught uh, uh, at uh, all with the x naught, z naught, and all with the w naught, y, and z naught. Okay, so this uh, uh, for uh, uh, circuit implementation, this uh, uh, simplify a Boolean function gonna be uh, uh, much much simpler compared with the uh, uh, Boolean function given at the beginning. <coughs> Now, uh, it's uh, possible to have a choice as to um, how to pick the group within a K-map while keeping the group as large as possible. So, um, this, this uh, it means that uh, as long as you have uh, following the uh, the rule to group the number one together and also uh, uh, even even the, the, the way you group may be different but they are equivalent. Okay, so here's an example to, to see um, you, you may end up with uh, you may end up with a different uh, boolean function uh, after you uh, simplify the uh, function but uh, they are, are all equivalent okay so uh, <coughs> let's assume you have a uh, a k map that's uh, contain a four one right here uh, two one right here and one one right here okay so the the first the first way you can uh, group them together by grouping for the one right here uh, two one right here and uh, this one go wrap around the edge of the k map right here so uh, basically we have the three groups okay um, the second way you also can group it by grouping in this way okay group them for one right here the same right here 
um, this one right here you can group the same right here but instead of wrapping around the edge of the k mark right here you can basically just group in this way okay so basically you also have the two one combined together but in this case you just have the one of the uh, value one overlap with another group right here so basically also the simplified boolean function you also uh, can represent it by a, a four mean term. The first mean term right here gonna be a uh, y naught z naught. The second mean term right here gonna be a um, w naught y z, and the third mean term right here gonna be w naught h and uh, y. Okay, because the value of z changes, so we gonna drop z. So um, that, that's a, a third, uh, that's the third mean term uh, represented in this way. Uh, on the other hand, also you can uh, have the um, simplified Boolean function represented in this way. That's the same. This is the same with the uh, two uh, mean term right here. The uh, last mean term right here gonna be a w not h, okay, and gonna be a y change from zero to one. So we drop y, and z gonna be uh, get uh, equal to z naught so the la uh, the last mean term right here gonna be a w naught h and z naught okay so basically the mean term gonna be uh, the last mean term gonna be different from the uh, last mean term right here but um when you uh, represent using the truth table of the two boolean function they are equivalent okay so um the the um uh, uh, as long as so, uh, as long as you follow the rules of the uh, KMA for grouping values of one together, um, you you gonna be uh, uh, get the simplified uh, Boolean function. Okay, so that's the um, uh, some brief information to uh, introduce or to uh, uh, guide you how to uh, using KMA simplification for four variables.